watch this coming along. No, it isn't a 20th century fair detective with her pack of bloodhounds. These are called lion dogs, and they're probably the only examples of a very rare breed in this country. If you want to give them their correct name, call them Rhodesian Ridgebacks. Scar above my lip. It's fading now. This is Bella's scar, and it was my fault. And they're good pals when you know them, but if they don't like you, believe me, you'll have a bad time. When I was maybe eight years old, Bella and her brother Daki started circling me as I was playing in the garden. I managed to outrun their attack by the skin of my teeth, diving headfirst into an open window of a horse trailer. But it's naive to say it's the dog's fault. A dangerous dog is only one that hasn't been trained. Plus in this case, Bella and Daki were puppies. With their broad heads and short hard coats, they certainly look workmanlike, don't they? Big dogs have always been a part of my family. This was my mum, as a baby, next to Simba. And for my dad, his dogs were his closest companions as he trained and exercised them. If you have Rhodesian Ridgebacks, you have to become expert dog handlers. My dad, he was an expert. Going to the vet, you would have to restrain them with judo. On the weekly runs, if you didn't take both dogs at the same time, the other would be heard howling from miles away. We've had our close calls, and we've had the postman get bitten on the butt. But for the dogs, it's protection. We are their family, and they are our defenders. Bella was the puppy of Minnie. Minnie had a litter of ten. We kept Bella and Daki. The other puppies had great lives with other owners as well. Daktari died from a nasty illness. Bella lived through to her old age, even putting up with a new presence in the house, a small dog called Betty. Betty is getting old now too. Dear Bella, it has almost been 24 hours since you died, the very strangest of hours. We miss you so much Bella, even Betty. I'm so sorry for not giving you a cuddle yesterday morning. I was so in my own head that I didn't even say goodbye. I miss you, and I love you. I wish I could have been there in your last moments, so you could know how we care for you, and that everything is alright. I wish I'd given you a kiss and looked into your eyes, and for you to be relaxed and happy. It happened so quick, and we half didn't expect it. But we're glad that you died at home, in the place you know, with little stress and of old age. It would have been terrible to go to the vets or if you were injured. We will keep running every weekend, and we know you will be running alongside us. You are buried close to Daki and with Minnie's ashes. I hope you are with them now, safe and loved. I was thinking last night of how truly special you were, and still are. You had the presence of a caring mother, a strong father, a playful brother, and a sensible sister all in one. You were the soul of the house, of all of us, and we all wish we could cuddle you one last time. I'm so sorry for not being there yesterday, but know that I will never ever forget you, and you'll always have my love. I'm glad you got to play with the terrier the day before, and that your last run was on the Monday with Daddy and I. Bella, you're as beautiful as a flower, as strong as an ox, and your spirit will always be with us. I love you, Bella the Boots. 
You wonderful girl. Luther. P.S. I've dedicated some chords on my guitar for you, so whenever I play them, I will always think of you. Rest peacefully. That's why they're so useful in wild country. This isn't exactly wild country, but perhaps their owner needs protection just the same.